Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you how to reinstall your software inside of your PlayStation 4 without having to use a USB or anything like that. Now you can do this a couple of different ways by going into safe mode and also not going into safe mode. So if you don't want to go into safe mode and you, let's say you're on your PlayStation 4 home screen, what you can do is as long as you have your PlayStation 4 already set up and what this process is pretty much called, it's pretty much called initialization or initialize PS4. It's very weird, but pretty much this process will delete everything off your PlayStation 4. So your data, your save data, your movies, all that stuff, but whatever you purchased on the PlayStation Network shop, whatever you purchase games and all that stuff, that will automatically be synced up and you can always re-download those, which is really cool. Cool, so and if you're ever lost i'll go ahead and link playstation's own website down in the description on exactly how to do this but what you want to do is you want to go into your home screen and you want to select settings you want to click initialization and then you want to click initialize ps4 and then at that point you just want to follow the on-screen instructions and the process there is pretty much straightforward so this will delete everything off your playstation 4 now i'm not going to do it because I don't want to take everything off my PS4, but if you're running into some issues, this is exactly how you would go through and basically factory reset your PlayStation 4 and reinstall the system software. Now, let's say you don't have access to the home screen or you, you for some reason you can't go through that way. What you can do is you can boot up the PlayStation 4 in safe mode and go about it that way, which I'll explain to you exactly how to do right now. What you want to do is you want to turn off the PlayStation 4 and then once the PS4 is totally off, there's no indications that it's on or whatever, you want to go ahead and hold down that PlayStation 4 power button. So whether you have the old one or the new one or whatever, you want to hold down that power button until it blinks twice. So you might hear it beep once, but then you want to hear it beep twice. And once it beeps twice, you want to go ahead and take your finger off. And it'll take about like 10 seconds for you to get it right. Usually you can get it right the first time. And you will see on the screen that it says safe mode. And here you want to connect your PS4 controller into the PlayStation 4 by using a micro USB cable. So you can't do this wirelessly. You will have to physically connect your controller to the PlayStation 4. And then from there, you want to go ahead and hold down the PlayStation button, and then you'll be presented into a quite a bit of a list. I think it's like six or seven different things you can choose from. And you want to scroll down until you see the option that says initialize PlayStation 4. And from there, you want to click the next option. You want to click X and it'll give you a couple more prompts, you know, whether you want to do this or not. And you just keep clicking yes. And then after that, you will officially be able to go and actually reinstall the software on your PlayStation 4. And you don't need a USB drive, you don't need a thumb drive or anything like that. And this should work for a majority of people and for a majority of things that you run into. So those are two ways to do it, whether you run into it where you can turn on the PS4 and access the home screen, and if you can't access the home screen. So that's pretty much the process. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to love.